guys, it is a great pleasure to be here with you today to present research triangulation. Well, before addressing this question, I ask you to subscribe to our channel and also for your ideas to bring you a lot of uh, fine content uh, regarding your dissertation or your thesis, your doctoral thesis. Well, uh, explaining to you about about triangulation, which is a verification system used in quantitative research. All right, uh, it is based on observing the phenomenon from at least three different points of view. It can be of the following types: data source, which is useful when we vary the source of the data in a given search. For instance, in a given uh, interview, you may be tempted to investigate or to interview the high level, the CEOs from the company and missing important information from medium and lower level management within that company. Therefore, try to avoid what is called elite bias, which is a um, concentration of data regarding only one uh, layer within the company. The next one is the researcher triangulation, which is useful when you ask for a colleague to investigate or to double check the coding system, what you have been done, doing. But I tell you, in practice, it is difficult because sometimes you are the only researcher. If you can, what, but how do you address this in the, the thesis? In the chapter three, the methodology chapter, you announce all sorts of triangulation. In chapter four, you um, say, well, in this research, I could not triangulate uh, using a different researcher because I was the only one researcher conducting the investigation. And you can do it and you, you announce, but, and you say what happened uh, in the actual research. The next one is the method triangulation. It is useful not to investigate a given phenomenon from only one perspective. Try to mix or to um, add some sorts, some sorts of, or approaches for data analysis. For instance, content analysis, causal chain analysis, semiotic analysis, cluster analysis, and others. The same with theory. Theory triangulation is useful when we use three or more different theories for data analysis. For instance, game theory, combining the social interaction theory and rational choice theory. For, for, for one example, of course, depending on the subject, depending on the research question, if you can use this, it will provide a broader perspective on the, the topics under investigation. Well, data type triangulation is very useful when you collect data. For instance, if you interview recording uh, to audio, you miss important cues on nonverbal language, for instance. Therefore, it's important to combine audio with video, but always, always carry with you a notebook and take notes write them down and transcribe to the, the interview always in brackets telling your opinion what you think about uh, your observation on observations on the interview is quite important and is very very useful when transcribing data well, finally, triangulation is useful to check qualitative data, get to more, know more. I give you this reference. This book here, Qualitative Data Analysis, for me is one of the greatest books. I also give you another uh, books, very useful with their references here. Is I will copy and paste them in, in the, um, the video um, description. And you can, um, of course, using them as uh, the way you want. All right, did you like the video? Well, subscribe 
It is a great pleasure to be here with you today, producing this video and bringing much more important um, information for researchers like yourself. Thank you very much and subscribe to the channel. Bye bye. See you next time.